Hello guys, what's up? The Codetolic is here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to see coding challenge about file processing in Dino. Uh, so far, I was working on uh, Dino, uh, Dino course, which is a six hours course and it will be uh, released soon on FreeCodeCamp's awesome YouTube channel. So when I created the course and I exported the video, I created this file, which is a small description, table of contents, time points and several tags at the at the very uh, bottom okay but after i exported and created this table of contents with the time points uh, i decided to change the introduction okay so i re-recorded a couple of sections i just uh, reordered things in this introduction and thus the time points uh, needs to be updated okay so because the introduction was fully changed i manually updated the introduction time points and I also detected that uh, the, the rest of the section basically after TypeScript is unchanged, but their time points needs to be also updated because the uh, introduction was changed. So I detected that uh, the video was increased by three minutes and two seconds. So I need to add three minutes and two seconds to every point uh, since the TypeScript, okay? at the very bottom of course i can go ahead and do this manually but i decided to create a small typescript code which will do this for me i think it will be fun a little bit of challenge and fun as well so basically this needs to be become instead of 14 it will become 17 22 this will become uh 24 uh, 04 and so on okay this is what our script needs to do Okay, let me tell you um, the idea what, what I want to do. So I'm going to read the entire file, then convert this into an array of lines. Then I'm going to iterate over the lines and I'm going to use regex to detect if the line starts with the following pattern. Okay, two digits, colon, again, two digits, colon, again, two digits. Okay, just like this. And I'm going to do this after after the TypeScript, okay? I'm not going to change anything in the introduction section because this is actually already done manually by me. Okay, after I detect this and um, just take out the values, hours, um, like minutes and seconds, I'm going to add three minutes and two seconds to this time and update the line, the whole line, and write back into the file uh, finally. Okay, this is my idea. Okay, let's start. I have this index.ts uh, and I have this file right here in this folder, update table of contents, index.ts, and I have this table of contents. Okay, so I'm going to write in uh, TypeScript, but again, there, there, are, there is nothing special in TypeScript. Uh, if you are not yet familiar to TypeScript, just don't go, just watch this, you will understand every single detail. Okay, so so I have file name and seconds shifted. So these are just how many seconds I want to shift each time. Okay, so this is just three minutes multiplied on 60 plus two seconds. Okay, let's start. And the very first thing I want to do is to read the entire file. Const content equals, um, I'm going to use um, Dino read text file, okay, which accepts right here file name and returns a promise, so I'm going to put a wait in front of it. Okay, awesome. So then I'm going to split this uh, and save into lines. Content split by new line. Okay, so then I'm going to iterate over my lines. For let, uh, I want index as well, index and line of lines entries. Okay, this is how I'm going to iterate, and this will be each individual line. So we can print the whole lines uh, if you want, just pause, print, and see. But this will be the lines of the of the file. So let's start right now, and we want to detect if the line starts with the following pattern. So for this, I'm going to need regex. So I'm going to define regex right here, which will be the following uh, thing okay so whenever string starts with slash digit two times uh, oops two times then colon slash d two times again colon slash d two times again so this is my regex now i'm going to check if my regex uh, tests on line so if this returns true this means that the my line has the same pattern 
Okay, if this happens, I can actually print the line right here. Okay, and let's have a look. So I'm going to open the terminal right now and run this using Dino run dash dash hello read uh, index. Actually, let me go to the following folder. So um, update table of contents. Okay, CD update table of contents Dino run dash dash hello dash read index dot ts. I'm going to hit the enter and this is what it writes. Okay. These are all the time points what I have in the file, which looks good. Okay. Now, as soon as this happens, I want to match and take out the following numbers like hours, minutes and seconds. Okay. So let's do this. So const matches equals line match and I'm going to pass right there the regex and this returns what what matches happened but i want to take out the hours minutes and seconds as well okay so for this i'm going to create groups right here group of hours group of minutes and group of seconds okay just like this and i want to now print my matches how it looks like so let's save and execute this and this is how it looks like okay so for the following line this is my matches and from the matches i want to take out the this one the first element by index the second by index and third by index okay this will be our minute and second okay so i'm going to define right now let our equals matches at first and duplicate this two times minute oops minute will be matches at two and second will be matches at three okay these are all the matches right here i have small typescript error and this basically tells me that these matches can actually be null and you are trying to take out the first second and third elements from this null so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to specify that these matches will always be an array of strings I know for sure because I have this code in the if statement. If the match happened, in this case, I take out the following thing. Now there is another TypeScript error. This basically tells me that null is not assignable to type array uh, of strings. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark right here, telling TypeScript that, hey, I know that this will not return null. Okay, so now everything is okay. We have our mint and second. We can also print this our, our. Uh, minute and second so let's execute this and here's our time okay now what I want to do actually I want to convert this into numbers first because I'm going to add some something to it so parse int I'm going to convert each of them into um, numbers so let's do parse int just like this awesome now I want to add how the uh, seconds shifted to the second okay second plus equals seconds shifted okay in this case of course the seconds will become more than 60 okay the seconds uh, we are adding basically um, the equivalent amount of three minutes plus two seconds so it will become a large number definitely greater than 60 okay let's talk uh, on a general case like if the uh, seconds will become 64 for example okay let's talk like this so in this case i want to uh, increase the um, number the minutes by one because this basically is one minute and 24 seconds so here's what i'm gonna do i want to take out the integer value of seconds di second divided by 60 okay the integer value and add it to the minutes so if this will be uh, for example 124 this finally will uh, be uh, 2 and 2 will be added to the number of minutes okay and we want to update the seconds uh, as well second second equals the second which is the current second um, just divide it and take the remainder uh, on 60 okay just like this we can also write in a short version like percent equals 60 okay second in this case second will become two in the minutes two will be added basically uh sorry second will become four and two will be added to the minute and in this case if the minute is for example um 59 it will become uh 61 okay in this case we want to uh, just add one to the hour okay we need to do the same thing hour plus equals math 
floor minute divided on 60 okay and minute percent equals 60 okay so let's just print right now the updated hour minute and second so i'm going to copy this uh, paste right here and let's also print some separator oops something like this save and execute it okay so here here it is what we have so um right this is a good example by the way the exact same example what we had so in this in this example we added three minutes and two seconds and it's okay three minutes and two seconds is added on every time but right here because we added three minutes and two seconds this is how my time looks like okay number of hours were increased okay awesome now we need to actually replace the file content with the new new hour minute and second and just write in the file okay so in the line i want to update my line line equals whatever is the line replace and for replace i want to use the same regex okay i want to replace the following template okay uh with the following thing okay i want to replace it with our new hour minute and second but the new hour uh minute and second uh, may, may, might be one digit number okay like one for example in this case i want to put zero in front of it okay i want to make it zero one and i want to make right here zero five and zero seven okay so here is what i'm going to do i know that also that the hours is always single digit i have six hour video so i don't want to put like conditionally add right there numbers so i will do like this zero and then whatever is the new hour okay then I want to do something like this if the minute is less than 10 okay in this case i want to add zero in front of it otherwise i want to i don't want to add anything okay and then i'm gonna immediately write the minute okay and i want to do the same thing this should be inside the back ticks just like this and i want to do the same thing for seconds okay if second is less than 10 i want to add zero otherwise i don't want to add in front of anything and then we print the second okay let's just save this and format the code also to make it more readable and let's just print right now the new updated line okay so i'm going to comment the console log of our mint and second let's just print the line uh, right here okay and updated line so let's execute this uh, oops so we have some problem let's have a look so we shouldn't write of course in a um, we shouldn't allow the formatting that's my mistake so of course because we are using back ticks uh, it should be written in a single line okay just like this uh, okay let's just print the line right here okay let's have a look okay uh, do we print updated line no we don't print updated line okay so and let's just comment out this number of um, hours and let's just move this down just like this let's have a look okay again something not very good okay if the minute is less than 10 i want this right here okay and this is okay so let's execute this once again okay so here is the new line and three minutes and two seconds is added on each of the lines which looks good okay so now we need to put the line back into lines array so lines for the given index equals line and finally we need to write this dino write text file i'm going to specify the uh, file name okay but i don't want to update the same file i'm going to create new file okay so i'm going to call it just uh, new table of contents dot txt and just pass lines join with the new line just like this okay so let's have a look let's save execute this uh, we need dash dash hello right okay because we are writing dash dash hello right okay and let's have a look 
So we have this new file. Let's open and compare. Okay, this table of contents, table of contents new. Okay, first of all, look at this. It also changed the introduction. This is something what we haven't considered, so we need to fix this. So let's go to the index, and right here, I want to create a flag. Let update equals false. It shouldn't update, and I'm going to write an if statement here. If update is false, just continue. Don't do anything, okay? Then I'm going to check. I need to basically start updating when the TypeScript section starts, okay? If the line trim equals to this text, TypeScript, okay? In this case, update equals um, true, okay? This is what I'm going to do. So let's just execute this once again. Okay, and let's have a look. So this is the new content. This is the old content. Okay, the introduction section basically is the same. It is not changed at all. Let's scroll down. Okay, this one as well and compare. Okay, this TypeScript section since everything is basically updated. In the old table of contents we have 1420, but in the new one we have 1722. And everything basically down below is changed. Look at this. Let's scroll down. Okay, right here as well. Look at this. Everything is updated. Right here we, we had uh, 5721 and right here we have already one hour and something. Okay, everything basically is updated. And so in just 15 minutes, instead of manually doing this, I updated with the code. Maybe I could do it faster if I would do it manually, but I think this is just fun and a little bit of practice on, on Dino. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section also what you think. If you are new to my channel, subscribe and see you in the next time.